Welcome to Team TTF Wellbeing Webinar. My name is uh, Irena Piotrowska. I am one of the practitioners at TTF. I am an acupuncturist and today we are going to practice together, do together two protocols. The winter protocol to keep us fit and in shape, in good shape. And we are going to do acupressure part of meridian exercise three, one, two. Please note that all of your videos and microphones are switched off. I cannot see you, I cannot hear you. There's no live contact between us. There are going to be, I'm going to use many different techniques and I'm going to show it to you very different acupressure techniques. I would like you to apply the technique that you feel comfortable with. Now make yourself comfortable and minimize distractions. Don't try to copy the position that I'm going to be when, I, when I'm going to show you the points. I'm going to, to show you to make, make sure that you can see well. You make yourself comfortable. I did just sit and enjoy. The guided part of the session will, will last around 25 minutes and it will last at, it will end at 12.30. Do close, close your eyes and if you feel like doing so, please remember to pace yourself according to your own abilities. You can start and stop any point during the webinar. You are in charge. So let's practice now. I will explain the theory while we practice. If you have any questions after the session or want to get in touch, email us at therapysupport.tdf.org.uk. Let me, let me say that again. Therapy support at tdf.org.uk. Please keep in mind that acupressure is a complementary therapy. Consult your doctor if you have any doubts. So the first thing we are going to practice today is the winter protocol. There are three acupressure points that we are going to press. Uh, Two of them are located bilaterally, so it will make more points to press. The first technique, acupressure technique, that we are going to use for this point is flicking. It's a technique called flicking. It's not the point, I am just showing it, the technique. Using your nail, you just flick the area, the point, and as you go, you use more pressure, you get into deeper tissues. This is the technique used on arms and legs, and it can be used on, on the face. At the end, please wrap the area, just make something comfortable and something that does not involve uh, very strong stimulation. So the points that we are going to press, the point is called spleen nine. It's located below the knee. One more, uh, one more thing. You can do acupressure through your clothes. So if you have, if you wear anything long now, just you can do it through the clothes. I'm going to show you how to find it. So I will remove my pants. So to find it, go into medial side to the tibia bone and slide to the side of it using your finger. Just go up until you stop. You stop at tibial condyle. That's the point. And let's 
like it. Using more and more force. If you are not comfortable with this technique, you can do, you can just press. You may just press constantly or press and lift, press and lift, or do this circular motions or in this direction. Anything you feel comfortable with is flicking what you are com what you feel comfortable with, go for it. Doing the acupre acupressure through clothes is actually more comfortable sometimes and and it means that you can apply acupressure anywhere when you are commit you know, commuting or at the office. It's just all is needed is to apply acupressure using your fingers. So this is point spleen nine, and this is the technique called flicking. I today I feel comfortable going with this technique. Usually I just press this point or use the circular motion motions. It is a very it can be a sensitive point. It just changes. One day you may prefer to do this technique, the other day flicking sounds feels good. We'll switch sides now. So on the other leg, tibia bone, slide thumb until you stop at tibia condyle and you might do flicking or pressing. You might change your fingers. If you are not sure about the position, just use more fingers. It's perfectly fine. You may do circular motion one direction, the other direction. You may want to just press and lift, press and lift, press and lift, or do flicking. I'm sorry, it's nipping. I don't know what I said before. It's nipping. Flicking is a different technique. Nipping. Please continue on pressing this point. So in general, winter protocol is uh, it concentrate on water because it, this is the element associated with winter in traditional Chinese medicine. So all the points that we are pressing are strengthening kidneys, helping the water passages and benef they benefit uh, bladder. So it's all about water the points. I hope you are sitting comfortably just in your chair or on a couch and and it's just you can in so you can enjoy the session. The other thing about doing acupressure, if you choose the technique, this nipping technique, uh, you may want to do this to the rhythm. I used to turn on the metronome during the session. Today, I don't do that, but please keep in mind, you may do this to your favorite music, for example, make it fun. So the next point is located under the umbilicus. This is my umbilicus. So it's located one hand width below the umbilicus. Here, this, this part of hand, hand width, and it's located right under, underneath it. So the technique on the, on the midline. So the technique here is flicking. 
So this is flicking. You may use index or middle finger to do that. So again, umbilicus and flicking. Or I keep hand here to know where exactly the point is located. But you, we may use the other techniques like constant pressing the point or pressing and lifting, pressing and lifting, pressing and lifting, or to the circular motions, one direction, the other direction, or head to toe motion. It's up to you. Whichever technique you feel comfortable with, please do this. And if you stick to flicking, again, you can do that to the rhythm. Uh, the technique done rhythmically is, uh, is what's required. It's not, it's what's recommended here. So listen to your favorite music, do it according to your own preferences. The tempo, it's up to you how fast you'll do that. Or you may just press. Every point is uh, has its local functions as well. So this point helps abdomen in general. So the next point that we are going to press is bladder 23. It's located on both sides at the back. So let's find our waistline. And this is the level on which the points are located. Now go to the find the spine and you are at the level of the lower border of the spinous process of the second lumbar vertebra. Yeah, so from there, move to the side to paraspinal muscles. You move to the side, this width, this two fingers width away from the spine. And this is the point. The technique to use it is like you were knocking at the door. It's bounding. And do this rhythmically to any music you like, or just press. Press constantly, or press and lift, press and lift, press and lift or do circular motions, one direction, other direction, or head to toe motions. Please continue pressing. As you can see, I just <laughs> sat down and I can still continue. So it's a good point to press when I mean, you can press this point while sitting at your desk. I say one point, it's bladder 23, but because it's, it's located not on the midline, it's located bilaterally, there are two of these points, yes? But it's one the same meridian, bladder 23. and doing the pounding technique feels really nice. So that was the winter protocol. Now, now we are moving to the acupressure part of Meridian exercise 312. This is how this uh, protocol, this exercise is called. So the first point to press is located between first and second metacarpal bones. To find it, you may place your thumb like this and just slide toward the second metacarpal bone. 
And here we are. This is large intestine four. We may just press this point. If you are pregnant, don't press this point. Unless you are 36 weeks plus pregnant, then you, then you can. So this is the point. Uh, if, if you are not sure about the position still, so find the ends of second metacarpal bone. And this point is located in the middle of this bone to the radial thumb side of the, uh, of the bone and press. It's actually pretty good to hold your hand like this and press. That's why you apply more pressure, so we can stimulate this point better. So the technique, as I mentioned before, to use the other different technique here on the arms and legs is nipping technique. If I call it flicking, I'm sorry. It's nipping technique. So you use your nail and you are getting deeper and deeper into the tissues. Do this rhythmically to your favorite tune or turn on a metronome. And press. If you don't want nipping technique, you can always just press constantly or press and lift, press and lift. Now we are going to switch side so again to find it. We are sliding towards the second metacarpal bone. Yeah, it's between these two bones, closer to second metacarpal bone, to this bone, and it's located in the middle of it. So actually it's more comfortable this way. You can do this linear motions as well here. This is uh, the way the meridian goes. You may just want to press. You may want to change fingers. You may want to just press and lift, press and lift, press and lift. Or you may want to do the circular motions. But here, when you do this parallel mo linear motions parallel to the bone, it feels like it, it stimulates the point. It can be very sensitive. I do this exercise every day and I have to confess it's the, the feeling that I have depends on the day. So you actually, it changes the way you feel or where you feel this point. And it's the same in my family. They told me it's, it depends on the day. Sometimes it just radiates the, the feeling, the sensation. It's fine, whatever you feel, this is, this is fine. Unless it's not very painful. This is the point that when, when me as an acupuncturist think about it, first the card that comes to mind, it's don't apply it during pregnancy and the second it's very good for pain anywhere in the body. Now we are going to press next point. It's located um, here above the wrist. When you place your hands with ring finger on the wrist line, these three fingers, the point is located under the index finger in the middle between the tendons. If you do fist, you can feel the tendon here. 
that's how you know that you are at the right place and press so again how to find it place your three fingers like this with uh, with ring finger on the wrist line and the point is located on the midline here between the tendons if you do fist you can feel the tendons and you know you are at the right place again the nipping yeah. technique can be applied here i do this technique i do applying this technique but not every day it's just that sometimes when i do this technique i feel really nice warmth spreading through my hand and it's really nice feeling and sometimes i just press the point or I like to do linear motions or this point on this point as well. Make yourself comfortable. I can't rest my hand anywhere because then you won't see what I'm doing. So just remember, place yourself comfortable. And if you are going for the nipping technique, it's best done to the music to the rhythmically, just press it rhythmically. And if you use nipping technique, just just use different technique to soothe the area. Now we are going to change sides. So again, the, the point is located between two tendons here. When you place your fingers like this, it's located right under the index finger. And just do any technique you like, I feel like using. Now, you know that you have stimulated acupressure point when you feel warmth and a bit of soreness. So just, you can see, just use any technique you like. I noticed that if I use this nipping technique, the sensation comes faster. So I, I just, it takes less time for me to do this exercise. Continue on pressing. I will just explain uh, the whole meridian exercise. Uh, three, one, two, meridian exercise. So there are three parts in this, in this exercise. The first part, is pressing acupressure points, the second three acupressure points. The second part is abdominal breathing. What you do is just use abdominal muscles, don't move your chest, breathe using only the abdominal muscle and think, you can close your eyes and just please continue pressing and imagine that you are breathing through the dantian that is located under the umbilicus. Just imagine that you are breathing through the dantian. So three things, no chest movement. Remember to use only abdominal muscles and imagine that you are breathing through the dantian located under the umbilicus, between umbilicus and the pubic bone. And the third part of this exercise is semi-squatting. That's what the founder of this exercise says. Now we are going to press the last point. This is stomach 36. It's located under the knee. So how to find it? Here is the patella, the kneecap. And under this, there are two depressions just to both sides. 
and press your hand over on the on the line connecting these two points to the depression and this is the level where the point is located now find tibia bone this is anterior crest of tibia slide middle finger to the side to the lateral side so if you are practicing on left leg to the left side if you are on the right leg to the right side and the point is located right next to it this is stomach 36 again you can use nipping technique here and again you can do acupressure through close so here is the patella depressions hand width below the anterior crest of tibia to the side and here we are and nipping technique can be used here Remember, you can do this to any music that you like. And you may choose different technique, just pressing. You always can use more fingers if you feel like doing, or just press and lift, press and lift, press and lift, or do the circular motions, one direction, the other direction, or head to toe linear motion. And now we switch side. So again, patella, kneecap, two depressions. Place your hand like this on the line, connecting these two points to the pressions. Now, this is anterior crest of tibia. Slide to the lateral side, and the point is right here. So it's hand width below the knee from the, from the line connecting to the pressions below the knee, and middle finger width away from anterior crest of tibia. And we can do nipping technique. This exercise energizes all the meridians in the body, promoting health. It was developed by Dr. Zhu Zhang Xiang, and he claims that the daily practice of this exercise for 25 minutes can keep people young and energetic, and that some people with chronic diseases have experienced major improvement in health after four weeks of practice. So again, you may do this rhythmically, this nipping technique using the nail, or you can see that I'm using the nail, or you may just press constantly, or press and lift, press and lift, press and lift. Please continue doing so. I will just ex show explain regarding this exercise. So here we can see all the all the meridians on the body and abdominal breathing activates all meridians that we can see here. And it's it actually means that it activates nine meridians that go through here. And the exercise later that the, the doctor is uh, doing, semi-squatting engages the whole body and it engages all the other meridians. 
I incorporate this, uh, this exercise into any exercise that I do given day. I just do the exercise first and then I, I do the acupressure and abdominal breathing. You can do this exercise throughout the day, one point in the morning, the other point in the evening, then you press stomach 36 below the knee. The point is to do that daily. I hope that you enjoyed today's session. Thank you to everyone who participate, participated today and please attend again. Please else tell your friends and family if possible. And if you like the session, please support the charity's work. Thank you and have a lovely week. Bye.